All right, for this tutorial, what we're going to show you how to do is we're going to show you how to connect your re drum in Reason to the Kong drum in Reason. And the purpose of doing this is if you want to use the step edit of the re drum in order to create a quick pattern, and it's going to trigger Kong drum. And that's for those who love to use the Kong drum with all the uh, editing features that the Kong drum have. And uh, before we get started, this uh, tutorial is brought to you by RPS Books. And RPS Books has the new book out, uh, The Music Producer's Blueprint, which can be found at www.rpsbooks.com. And that's for all you producers who want to advance your production skills. You can go over and get that book. And uh, once again, that's www.rpsbooks.com. All right, let's get started here. What we're going to do is we're going to load in a re-drum. We already got a Kong drum, and we already got a couple of basic sounds. So we're going to load in a re-drum. We're going to press and hold down the shift key so the re-drum comes in and it's not plugged into anything. Okay, now we have a re-drum that just came in loaded okay with nothing in it and uh, if we're gonna flip that around all I was do is press the tab key and that's gonna flip it around you see it's not plugged into anything no outs here no outs here alright and this is the back of our Kong drum which the main outs are plugged into the mixer alright <clears throat> and what we do now is we go to the gate out of the re-drum and we left click on that and drag that over to the gate in of the Kong drum. Pretty simple. Just do that for all our four. We only have four sounds loaded in right now just for this example so we're going to do that with all four of our sounds. Alright and we're going to press the tab key once again to flip it back around and see there's no sounds actually into the re-drum the sounds are already over here at the Kong drum as you can see okay there are our sounds uh, and, if, and they're being triggered now by the re-drum alright very very simple alright and now let's just program a simple beat just to uh, show the example of what we're trying to do here alright we just start this running and we just program a simple beat. All right. Okay, simple beat. All right, that takes care of our kick drum. Now let's do something for the for the snare. All right. All right, let's do something for the clap. All right, now let's do a little something for the hi hat. As you can see, this is like quick, quick drum programming. See, that's what you use the step edit for. And now it's been, it's controlling the Kong drum. Got a simple, simple beat. We can do all our editing parameters, everything that the Kong drum provides. But we program the beat real quick with the step edit. And that concludes our tutorial for today. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And once again, this is brought to you by RPS Books creators of the music producers blueprint which can be bought over at wwrpsbooks.com